Russia suffers its deadliest day of the war as it fails to retake city held by Ukrainians. Deadliest day in the war Monday, losing 1,950 soldiers in a failed attempt to retake Kursk from Ukrainian troops, Kiev officials said. The Russian forces saw their assault whipped out by Kiev troops who continue to hold on to most of the land taken during their surprise counter-invasion in August, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Yesterday was truly a black day for the Russian occupiers who tried to storm in five to six waves, said Anastasia Blishchik, a spokesman for the 7th Separate Mechanized Brigade. Please subscribe and follow. A U.S.-made Bradley and Abrams tank take out a Russian treeline position in Kursk. Ukraine took out 1,950 Russian troops on Monday in Kursk and continues to hold the bulk of the conquered territory. Ex-Defense of Ukraine the Russians tried to attack with vehicles, with paratroopers, and storm Ukrainian settlements. However, 10 units of armored vehicles were destroyed by the warriors of the 47th Brigade, he added, according to the Kyiv Post. The unsuccessful daylight charge saw the armored vehicles loaded with infantry fighters blown up in, less than an hour of combat, as they came under enemy fire and hit minefields scattered on the ground, Kyiv said. While Russia has made small advances in trying to retake Kursk, mainly by sending wave after wave of troops to try and overwhelm Ukraine's forces, Blishchik said the front lines in the region remain under control. Ukraine launched its counteroffensive in Kursk, a city in western Russia, in August, with President Volodymyr Zelensky hoping it could be used as a bargaining chip in its war against Russia. Along with troops lost on Monday, Ukrainian intelligence estimates that an additional 1,770 Russian troops were killed on Sunday, marking yet another colossal loss for the Kremlin. A fire broke out in Kursk amid the fighting between Russian and Ukrainian forces. Russian prisoners of war were transported to Ukraine after being captured in the Ukrainian counter-invasion. Neither Ukraine nor Russia have publicly recorded their official death tolls in the war, but British intelligence estimates that about 700,000 Moscow soldiers have been killed or wounded during the war, which is approaching its third year. British Armed Forces Admiral Sir Tony Radakin said Sunday that Russia lost an average of 1,500 soldiers a day in Ukraine in October, marking the worst month of casualties for Moscow's invasion. Despite the staggering losses, Moscow has maintained the pressure along the front lines and continues to slowly gain ground. Russian President Vladimir Putin has amassed 50,000 Russian and North Korean troops to try and retake Kursk.